Hello again everybody and welcome back to Booze 2's. Today we're going to be unboxing the Dan TDM U2's figure. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. So this one I'm super pumped to get out of the box because it's been a really long time since I've opened up a figure of a, an actual OG YouTuber. This guy's been making videos since forever, since I can remember on YouTube. And I used to watch this guy back in the day as well, so that's another reason why I'm super excited to get this figure out. So without further ado, let's finally get this thing out and let's check out the box design. Bam! Let's get it out of the protector here. Uh-oh, this one really doesn't want to come out. So the sleeve design looks pretty cool. It looks like they're going with a black and blue theme, which definitely fits the creator. Also, if this video looks a bit dark, it's because I'm recording it during the nighttime. I kind of have to work around my roommate's schedules now because they're working from home, so I don't really have a lot of time to record. But let's check out the front of the sleeve here. So of course we have Dan TDM on the top there, we have the concept for the E2s right there. Then we have two diamonds in the background, and it looks like the top of the sleeve here is a dark blue, and then it fades to a lighter blue on the bottom. Then on the side here, it looks like we do have a continuous sleeve. It looks like um, it looks like space, I guess, like the night sky with all the stars and stuff. Then it looks like we have some blue lightning or blue smoke. Looks pretty cool. Looks like we also have some constellations on the sleeve here. Very, very cool. All right, I'll give you guys a 360 of the sleeve here. There's not too much detail on it, but it looks very good and very clean. And let's finally take off the sleeve and let's check out the box. So it looks like they flipped around the colors for the background here. So we have the dark blue on the bottom, then we have the light blue on the top. He is number 262 of the collection. We have the concept right there, Dan TDM right there. And on the side here, looks like we have his concept right there. Then we have two diamonds flying through the sky on the top there and some more constellations with blue smoke and the nighttime sky in the background. And on the back of the box here, looks like we have the same two diamonds flying up in the sky and the description says, Yo Dan, you look better without glasses. And it looks like we have a little diamond constellation in the middle there, very cool. Then on the final side here, it looks like, wow, actually, that's weird, there's no message. Usually there's a little message right here, I wonder what's up with that. But that means that now we can finally open up the box and we can check out the figure. So of course we have another picture of Dan Tedium's beautiful face on the top there with the light blue background and if I can get my finger in here. There we go, nice clean opening. And the message on the inside the tab says, hey, no snitching. Alrighty, let's take this guy out of the box and let's check out the inside box design. So it looks like we have a bunch of diamonds on the bottom of the box there. That's probably a better view. And in the background, we have Dan TDM with the diamond logo. Very cool. Let's throw the box in the back here and let's check out the figure. So one thing that I noticed uh, immediately when I took the figure out was that the skin color is a tad bit different. It looks like on the sleeve, his skin color is a little lighter than it is um, on the figure. It looks a little, um, I don't think it's like yellowish. It, he definitely looks a lot more tan, but that's not a huge deal because I think it matches the other figures anyway. So on the top of the figure here, we have his brown hair and the detail on that looks very good all the way around. Then we have his ears and they even put the gauges in his ears. They're see-through right there. Let me see if I can get a good angle for the camera here. There we go. You can kind of see how see-through they are right there. Very cool. I like how they actually made it see-through instead of just putting black gauges there. Then he has a giant smile on his face and he's holding his two pugs and they both have U2's eyes and those look very, very cute. Here's a close-up of those. Very good detail on those as well. We even have like the little wrinkles on the head and everything. And it looks like underneath the pugs, he's wearing his own merchandise. Very cool. He plugged his own merchandise in his own figure. I think the raccoon eggs one has his own merchandise on too. So we just have the same Dan TDM logo on his sweatshirt that was on the inside of the box there. Then it looks like he's wearing some light blue pants, possibly jeans, and they also match his shoes and those look very cool. I like instead of doing the uh, the Nike swoosh and infringing on the Nike copyright, they just did like a little, little squiggly line. Then the bottom of the shoes are also blue and those look awesome. So we have YouTube's.com right there and YouTube's collectibles right there. And overall, this guy looks pretty good. Also, I want to check something real quick. That's what I thought. So he's a little shorter than most of the figures nowadays, I, I feel like. It looks like he's just over four inches. I never checked the, uh, the official height on the website because I, I don't really like to do too much research on the figures because I like to be surprised when they come in. But it looks like he is a tad bit shorter than most of the other new figures. 
But I guess there's only one real way to figure that out, and that's to compare him to my other figures for a height comparison. So first up we have Minx, which is a very new figure, so it should be- actually no, they're about the same size, so I guess maybe it's not shorter. Let's try Tubbo, looks like he's actually a bit taller than Tubbo, and Captain Puffy. And it looks like Captain Puffy takes the height advantage. So I guess my theory is wrong, I guess he is pretty normal sized. And it looks like this guy's actually going for a good amount of money on eBay, and by good I mean expensive. It looks like you can get him anywhere from $150 to $200, which is pretty crazy. I mean, someone's selling it for $140 without the box. So this guy is definitely in the top tier of expensive YouTubes. Which it makes sense because this guy's been around forever, so he has tons of fans all the way from ages like probably like 7 to 25. So props to you if you picked up Dan TDM. He's a very rare U2s it looks like. Alrighty, I'll give you guys one more 360 of the U2s because it does look very, very good. It looks very clean. And that's all I have for you guys for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more U2s unboxings. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.